dancers, welcome back to our channel at Image Bottom Dance Academy. Today I will be discussing the closed hip twist in international style cha-cha. Let's get started! Alright, so let's take a look at the footwork for the closed hip twist in international style cha-cha. Let's start with the leaders. Leaders, I'd like you to place your weight onto the right foot. I'm going to show you two variations for your footwork. So we're going to start forward, rocking towards the left foot. Replace the weight back to your right leg. You're going to bring the left foot in and you're going to replace three times. To the left, to the right, to the left. From here, you're going to rock back with the right foot, replace the weight forward, and then you're going to do three replacements on, on the spot. To the right, to the left, and finish with a side step. All right, leaders, well done. Keep practicing. Let's take a look at the follower side for the hip twist, closed hip twist. So we're going to start on our left. The right foot is prepared in front. We're going to take the right foot to the back, place your weight onto it. Replace forward to the left leg. You're going to rotate 180 degrees, still maintaining your weight on the left leg. From here, twist three times to the right, to the left, to the right and finish in a new position, in a new direction. Then we continue, we're gonna have a fan finish. So we're gonna use the fan development to get there. We're gonna go forward with the left, forward with the right, with a turn, and a small compact lock step back. You're gonna have the fall of the foot, right leg replaced, and the left foot back. So we have a fan finish. That's the footwork for the closed hip twist. Now let's take a look at the timing for our footwork in our closed hip twist. Let's start with the leaders. Start with the weight onto the right foot. We go forward on two, replace three. We're gonna replace to the left, four to the right. And to the left, one, rock back, two, replace, three, bring the right foot in, four, change the weight, and, and do a diagonal side step on one, and you finish in fan. Let's take a look faster now, and we go, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. And now let's take a look at the follower side. We're gonna start with the weight on the left, rock back on two, replace the weight, three, rotate. That is still the three, remember that. Bring the weight to the right foot, four, change, and change, one. You're gonna go forward on two, forward walk turn, three, and the compact lock step back, four with the left, and with the right, back onto count one. Let's take a look quicker. You're gonna go back with the count two, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Why? And that is our timing. Now, as promised, I'd like to offer you a more advanced way of using the closed hip twist. So, for the leaders, we're going to use a slip chasse and a hip twist chasse, which is going to make you more rotational and have much more action. So you're gonna place the weight onto the right leg. We start, two, three, four, and one. That was our slip chasse. Two, 
three. Now we're gonna do a hip through chasse. Four and one. So that is for our leaders. Now, followers, you can also exit this with a side step. So once you start back, two, three, you can replace the weight twice, four and, you can step out on one, do a small hip twist and, and then continue to your fan. Two, three, four and one. Now also let me offer you some tips for a great execution of a hip twist. It's in the name, hip twist. So make sure you really are utilizing your hips in order to rotate. So, especially for the followers, I'd like to start first because you're doing the first hip twist. The close refers to our frame. So really practice with maintaining stillness in your upper body. So as you twist, you don't disturb your partner. So let's take a look. Two, three, and four and one. I will change my frame and and then I go into my fan two three four and one. Same thing happens for the leaders on the close hip twist. The frame doesn't move in front. You have to keep the partner there on the right hip. So you go two three four and one. Change the frame two three four and one so leaders on that hip twist shall say that is your opportunity to twist your hips now i've invited my partner Raquel to demonstrate what this step looks like in a partnership we will start with the basic variation of the closed hip hip twist and then we're going to go into a little bit more intermediate execution so let's start with our backs to you face each other so before you rock back follower you must rotate and you go two three four and one two three four and one let us face you so you can see the front view and two three four and one two three four and one now let's take a look at the intermediate variation where our leader uses a slip chasse and a hip twist chasse and the follower steps out into a side step with an extra hip twist. So here we go. And two, three, four and one. And two, three and four and one. And the front view. And two, three. Four and one and two, three and four and one. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you next time. Have a great practice.